Hey, what's going on, Gemini? Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's see what the energy is like for y'all today. Don't forget, everybody's on a different timeline. So I do encourage you to use the spirit of discernment as you're viewing this. Flip your roles as you see fit. If you trigger by something, face your mirror, not my comment section, okay? All right, don't forget, y'all hit that like button. I definitely appreciate you guys and all of your positive energy exchanges. All right, so let's go. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my true guys, for helping me with Gemini's reading. Protect us as we go through these portals. Close the gates. Anything not in alignment with the divine's will. What's the energy? The Gemini. You got to make some type of self-honoring choice. Okay, it's about choices for you. I don't know if this is past energy, but somebody was out of alignment, off path, the temple card in the reverse. This is like my twin flame card too. But somebody was not following the path. Okay, or well, maybe not still, but the cornucopia card comes out next, right? And I'm gonna read to you guys what the temple path cards um means in the reverse in the victory card so it, it feels like it's like past present future okay <laughs> but give me one second let's go with the temple path in the reverse yeah you what you are or were supposed to follow a spiritual path okay because this is about spiritual purpose and support and about your spiritual evolution and you could have been off path completely when it comes to this or fallen off your path um you know how you'd be focused too much on worldly things personal gains and not connecting with the spirit world not connecting with your life purpose your gifts and things like that um that's what this pretty much is representing you know holding on or maintaining old habits unhealthy habits worry doubt stuff like that and um You've been praying for some things. You planted seeds. You waiting for the harvest to come in. You waiting for your wishes to be fulfilled. So basically, Gemini, it looks like you're getting ready to get a wish fulfilled. Right? Because you're closing out some type of cycle. Because in the future position, I got the victory card coming out. So um, let me go into more detail here. Tell me why the temple path card is in the reverse. Two cards flew out. Look at that. Six of wands and the ace of swords comes in the reverse. So what it feels like is that you were off path because when it comes to your mental clarity and things like that, um, you weren't seeing things clearly. I feel like it has a lot to do with you shifting your perspective on some stuff here. But it's, it was like a lot of chaos um, in your situation. A lot of chaos, maybe frustration. And um, you've been waiting. You literally have been waiting for your winning season is how I'm hearing it. Yeah, you've been waiting. But the reason why... What was standing in the way of that, and I feel like the number one reason was guilt. May not have been number one. It close, to, yeah, I'm hearing guilt. Okay, now, that's what was standing in the way of your progress. Guilt, your um, perspective about things, okay? A little bit of ego caught up in there, right? And confusion. Now, the Six of Wands card is, on, is like victory too. So tell me about this wish fulfillment. You're getting some type of breakthrough here. Yep, page of cups is in a reverse. It's just this. It's just this. How can I put it? You aren't listening to your heart. You seem to be somebody who more tapped in to logic. You may make head over heart decisions. Is how I'm hearing it. It's like you get the ideas. But then you don't follow your heart with those ideas. You start going in your head and you start rationalizing things is how I'm seeing it. Maybe self-doubt, okay, or insecurities or, or something. You're not having enough confidence here. Six of 
So once you are open to embrace new ideas and things like that, and you start choosing healthier um, and happier options in hand, then guess what? Then you start to attract the blessings that you've been praying for. And that's what it, it feels like here. Tell me about the wish fulfillment. An empress comes out. So you could be the empress or the empress is somebody in your story. So if the empress is about you, it's about abundance, okay? Fertility, nurturing, um, that's divine feminine energy as well. If you're in this stuck energy of like worry and fear and lack of confidence and things like that, then you want to basically invest time back into yourself, okay? Be kind to yourself, all right? So again, if, if you're in that energy, then you're still not on the right path with the temple path card in the reverse. But it feels like whatever that fear was or is, it's going to leave. A lot of inner turmoil is how I'm saying it. Like this is deep seated. Yep, and there go that hangman. Okay, so when you don't let go for a new perspective, perspective, you literally just be sitting there in limbo. You just waiting. You just waiting. But it's like now is the time for you to embark on this new journey. Like this journey, this path that you are going to be embarking on is the one that's going to lead you to your victory. Okay. But it's going to take a lot of courage. It's going to take a lot of optimism. It's going to take you a degree of risk. And that's something, Gemini, I do feel like you don't like to take too many chances because of hardship from the past. And you definitely can't be in the energy of fear, right? It's about you doing things differently, okay? So if you're indecisive about something, judgment. It's time for you to go within. It's time for you to do the self-reflecting, okay? Do the self-reflecting here and um, get some things straight, right? Because you're looking for your seeds that you've planted to harvest. You're looking for that great blessing. Whatever it is that you pray for, you're looking for that. And so it, it, it's going to require you to go through um, this journey. It's a spiritual journey, like I'm telling you, okay? So connect to your higher self, connect to your spiritual self, and... That's when you start to see your um, blessings and the, and the abundance coming through. Page of Gabrielle comes out. Yep, it's about you following your passion. It's about you following your heart. 808 on the timer. You're ready for whatever challenge comes up, right? Because of the simple fact is like if you're on this path, you're doing the work. If you're following your path, you got your guys that are helping you along the way, okay? And it's a lot of opportunity for excitement and adventure on this path, all right? So be brave, be energetic, and be optimistic. Look, perspective. So there's always a better way, right? Than the ways that we used to do it before. So it's time for you to just pause for the reflection and insight and just dare to be different, okay? Dare to be different. Don't be resistant. I got the four of pentacles out. So don't be holding on to the past, holding on to what doesn't serve you any longer. Um, new beginnings. Because when you hold on, you, you are telling the universe that you don't want more. When you hold on, you block yourself from receiving more, right? This is a time where you are beginning to start this new life. You're finding your purpose. So review your past with forgiveness and compassion and just kind of keep moving forward here. Like I said, it's just tap into your intuition, balance that energy and really look to the heavens. And all I keep seeing is like the stars, stars. Somebody may be a star. Look to the heavens, the universe, the divine, your angelic guides. Okay, while you're on this path, this is a spiritual path, like I'm saying, like you cannot do this based off of your lower self, your ego, or alone. Okay, this is a divinely guided path that you're on, which is leading you to your victory. All right, Gemini, peace.